Hello students, today we are doing chapter two, lesson four for my math eight students. Today we're going to learn about rotations. As a reminder, you should have out your spiral notebook and your RPJ. In your spiral notebook, go ahead and turn to a new page and write what I have here, 2.4 rotations. A rotation or turn is a transformation in which a figure is rotated about a point and this point is called the center of rotation. For this lesson, we have a couple of vocab words in this sentence. First, the word rotation is one of our vocabulary words. And secondly, center of rotation is another vocabulary, I guess it's not really a word, it's a phrase. The number of degrees a figure rotates is called the angle of rotation, and this is another vocabulary phrase that you need to know. For example, if I were to take this capital block letter Y and I were to rotate it in towards the right direction, and let's say I were to rotate it about this point here, and so that means that this point is the center of rotation. Okay, so what I would do is I would take one of my points on the Y, I'll start at that point there, I would go to that center of rotation, and then I wanted 90 degrees. And so my new, that new point would be here. Notice that what we have is, if I wanted 90 degrees, this is a 90 degree angle. And also what you should notice is that the distance between the original pre-image point down to the center of rotation and the distance from that center out to the new image point are equal. So this length here is equal to this length here. So then what I need to do now is I would do that with all of my other points, but this is actually pretty easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw my block letter Y sideways. Okay, so just like what we've had in previous types of transformations, like the reflection and the translation, the, the Y that we started with is called the pre-image, and the new shape, that the resultant shape that we did is called the image. Um, we have a couple of other vocab words here. Remember, this is our center of rotation. That's the point that it's rotating around. And this 90 degrees right here is called our angle of rotation. So that's how many degrees it's rotating. So in our example, we have the letter Y is rotating 90 degrees clockwise. And remember, clockwise is the direction that a clock hand goes. So in this case, since we're going off in the angle to the right, it, that is a clockwise direction. Now turn in your RPJs to page 36. For numbers one and two, we are told to tell whether the shaded figure is a rotation of the non-shaded figure about the origin. And if so, give the angle and the direction of the rotation. So let's take a look at number one. It looks like it might be a rotation, but it's actually not a rotation about this origin here. It could be a rotation about that point, two, two, because notice that this shape could move and come down here about that point, but that wasn't the question. The question was asking, is it a rotation about the origin, which is this point here? So we're going to say no on this one. Um, it actually, to me, it looks more like a reflection across this line here, y equals x. And so, uh, because if you look at it, it looks like it's reflected in that line. So I'm going to say no, because it's a reflection instead. Let's take a look at number two. Tell whether this shaded figure here is a rotation of this one about the origin. And this one does look like a rotation. One way to check is um, if you were to turn it, so in this case, we would turn our whole entire page upside down. Okay, so does it look the same if we turn our whole entire page upside down? And yes, it does. And so this is, um, and I turned it 
upside down, which means that it's 180 degree rotation. So we're going to say, yes, this is a rotation about the origin, and it's 180 degrees. So I wrote 180 degrees clockwise, but it doesn't need to be clockwise. When you have 180 degrees, it could easily go counterclockwise instead. For numbers three and four, the directions say to that we need we are given the vertices of triangle. And so what we need to do first is graph these vertices. And then it says rotate the triangle as described, and then also find the coordinates of the image. I'm going to change what number four is asking. It says 270 degrees counterclockwise. What we're going to do instead is we're going to do um, 90 degrees counterclockwise. And instead of about vertex A, we're going to do it about the origin. So my first step is to graph these three points on both, um, both graphs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we have A is 1, 1. So remember, we start at the origin and go the x is 1 and the y is 1. So A will be here. And then we have B, which is at 3, 1. So we start at the origin and go 3 on the X, 1 on the Y. So B is here. And C is at 3, 4. So we start at the origin, go over 3 and up 4. So C will live here. OK, so I have both of my triangles graphed. So let's take a look at number 3. It says 90 degrees clockwise. So let's see what that means. It's going to be heading clockwise, so in this direction, which means that it's going to end up on its side in quadrant four. So my suggestion is to literally turn your paper sideways in the direction that it's asking you to go. So in this case, 90 degrees clockwise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally turn my paper 90 degrees clockwise. And so now I'm looking at it sideways. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm going to now pretend that this is my x axis and this is my y axis. And so we have um, this will be this would be if it, that were two, this would be positive one, two, three, four. This would be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And this would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to see after we turn it. So what we did once again is we started here. And this is our original one. We turned it sideways. And what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that now this is how it looks. And so in pretending, we're going to find what the new points would be. So A prime, B prime, and C prime are going to be what points. OK, so here's what I mean. Here we have A. This is where A will live after the turn. So A is now at positive 1, negative 1. So I'm going to write that here, positive 1, negative 1. Now I'm going to look at B. B now lives here. So B, if I start at the origin, is 1 and then down 3. So b actually is going to be 1, comma, negative 3. So I'm going to write that here, negative 3. OK, now c is uh, here. So that is over 4 to the right and then down 3. So c's new place, its new home, will be at 4, comma, negative 3. So I'm going to write that here. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my paper back to where it was. All right? and I've got now three points that I can graph. They are sideways, but I can kind of turn my head sideways and see what that says there. And so I see that A prime, let's graph that first, is at 1, comma, negative 1. So let's see. Start at the origin, 1, comma, negative 1. So A prime will be here. So I'm going to put A prime is here. Let's go ahead and write that down here. A prime is at 1, comma, negative 1. OK, now we have B prime. B prime is at 1, comma, negative 3. We'll start at the origin, 1, comma, 1, 2, 3. So my new B prime point would be here. OK, so that's B prime. And I'm going to write that down here. So B prime 
is 1, negative 3. And my new point C prime now would be at 4, comma, negative 3. So start at the origin over 4, negative 3, which is here. All right, so this is my new C prime point, and C prime is at 4, comma, negative 3. And so my new triangle looks like this. You'll see what happened is that it went 90 degrees, and it's now sideways. And if you, again, if you could double check your work by taking a look at the original triangle here, and if I were to turn that 90 degrees sideways, what would it look like? And it looks like it's on its side, and it looks like that. So then we look back and see, is that correct? Oops. And yes, it definitely looks right to me. So we did that correct. Okay, let's take a look at our next one. So this time what we're doing is we're going 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So we're heading this time counterclockwise. So that's against the clock. So it's going to be heading this direction. And so that means it'll end up in this quadrant here. And what we're going to do is, again, we're going to literally turn our paper in the direction that we want to go. So in this case, I want to go counterclockwise. So I'm going to turn it 90 degrees counterclockwise. And just for the sake of trying to figure out where this triangle would now live, I'm going to pretend that this is my x-axis. And I'm going to pretend that this is my y-axis. So I'm going to pretend that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and positive 1, 2, 3, 4. And so now we need to find out what would A prime now be, and B prime, and C prime. OK, so our A prime point, if we look at where it lives now, here's the origin. It would be at, oh, I should have written those negatives, huh? So this one, we want this one to be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. OK, so our A prime point is here. So after we are pretending, Here's our origin. It's negative 1, positive 1. So I'm going to write negative 1, positive 1 for my A prime point. OK, my B point is here. So after the turn, it's going to be negative 1, positive 3. So I'm going to write negative 1, positive 3. And then our last one is C prime. So now the C prime point, we start at the origin, is negative 4, positive 3. So we're going to write negative 4, positive 3. OK, so now we have our three new points. So I'm going to literally turn back around so that now we're right, right side up again. And I'm given, and I found these three points. So now we're done pretending, right? So this is no longer y. That's back to x again. And this is no longer x. It's back to y. And those numbers here, you can ignore those, OK? Those were just for our pretending to try and find the answer. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and graph these three points here. And I'm going to do it in green. So we have negative 1, 1 for a prime. So negative 1, 1 is here. That's my a prime. And so my a prime answer, negative 1, comma 1. Our b prime answer is negative 3, sorry, negative 1, 3. So I start at origin negative 1, up 3. So our b prime lives there. And so I'll say b prime. And our b prime answer was negative 1, comma 3. And lastly, we have our c prime, which is negative 4, 3. Start at origin. Negative 4, 3. So our c prime lives here. And so we're going to write that, c prime. And then our c prime answer is negative 4, 3. And now we have our triangle. And notice that it has rotated. It's sideways, but this time it's counterclockwise. So if we were to take a look at our original triangle here, we could double check and see, does it look like that when it's sideways by taking it and turning it? It's sideways on its side. Yep, that looks right. OK. So that looks good to me. So that's how we do the 90 degrees clockwise and 90 degrees counterclockwise. OK, I'm going to change number five as well. 
Um, so we're going to take the triangle that we're given here and um, just ignore the second sentence. Um, and so what are the vertices of the original triangle? We're just going to we're going to take those things off. So um, the vertices of the pre-image is what we're going to change this to is there. And what we're going to do is rotate it 180 degrees this time about the origin. Um, uh, unfortunately, they don't give you a graph for this problem. So I know that you were given graph paper at Junction. If you could take some graph paper and go ahead and cut it up, you don't need one quite this big that goes out to 10, because notice that our numbers here only go to 4, so or negative 4. So uh, you can have a smaller graph than I do, but this is the one that I had on hand. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and graph my three points first. So what, what, I, what I want you to do, we're going to graph at 180 degrees about the origin. So that means that it's going to go 180 degrees, and it's going to end up in this quadrant here, quadrant 1. Also, what happens is when you rotate something 180 degrees, the figure actually turns upside down. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our shape here, and we're going to turn everything upside down. So now we're looking at it upside down. And just like what we did on the other one, we're going to pretend for a little bit. So this is my x now. This is my y. But this time, this is positive 2 and positive 4. And here we have positive 2 and positive 4. OK, remember, this is just for pretending. And then we'll turn it back around and use those points that we found. OK, so now we'll write our three new points here. OK, so let's take a look and figure out where this point would now live after the turn. So here's my origin. It's over 3 and up 1. So I'm going to write 3, 1. Now we'll look at this one. This is over 2, up 4. So it's positive 2, positive 4. And lastly, we have this point here, which is over 4, up 4. So it's positive 4, positive 4. OK, so now let's turn back, let's turn everything back to its original place. And I know it's upside down, but hopefully you can uh, see that. So we're going to go ahead and graph our three new points. So our first point is 3, 1. So I'm going to graph it at over 3, 1. So here it is, right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that here, 3, 1, so that it's right side up. Our next point is 2, 4. So I'm going to go 2, 4. And here it is here. So 2, 4 is my next coordinate. And my last coordinate is 4, 4. And so we're going to go over 4, up 4. So that's here. And so we'll write that here, 4, 4. And I'm going to connect my points. And notice what happened is that the triangle uh, turned upside down. And it's 180 degree rotation of the origin. OK, that's it for today. You might feel like you need to rewatch this video a couple of times on my YouTube channel to help you really learn it and solidify this situ these type of problems. Please, if you're one of my students and you're having difficulty with this, make an appointment with me and we can work together.